Hello everyone. We are going to do another reading for the month of June for Is it Taurus or is it like It's Taurus because like then there's Gemini and Cancer, okay. I was thinking that pattern. Yes, it goes in that pattern. Fire, earth, air, water. That's the pattern. Okay, so yeah, we're doing Tauruses for the summer of 2018. June, to be specific. <laughs> like, shit like that, right? I am not the most, um, mature person. But, you know, take it or leave it. I like having a good time. Which is interesting, considering, but it's whatever. Um, so, how are you doing, bulls? And which bulls? Oh, page ones. Dreamers. Feel like the nomadic outcasts who go out to sea far off worlds for adventuring, are you? Do you feel diplomatic? Do you feel like you can get things done? It's a good attitude to have. Don't you start, like, sending them subliminal messages. We are doing, um, your reading now. We've already done Aries. And then I got, uh, all the other ones, and I didn't realize how long it would take, but that's okay. Like, I don't mind. I'm by myself for a while. I don't know if I'll be able to do this consistently, but I'll, but I'll definitely try to do them before the next month comes around. Cause I, cause I do kind of enjoy this whole thing. Like I, like I don't know if I should do it in another couple weeks for y'all, cause like, due to like thirty days is a long time to um wait for answers on how you're screwed in life, you know. But that's okay. Missed. Charcoal smoke. This clean. Cleanse the cards. Like, a really good way of cleansing cards, in case anybody's interested, is just putting the deck back in order. You know, you know how when you first get it, it's in a particular order, and you can shuffle it and shit? Like, yeah. Like, that's a good way of cleansing them, too. Because then you're just starting over. I've also learned that, like, if you shuffle with, um... The way I've been doing it as of late, with just your... Letting them fall down and all that stuff. It works pretty good, but then, like, it kind of makes the cards extra sticky. And a lot of people think, oh, well, my card stick, that could say something or whatever. But in reality, it's because of the grease on your fingers. Like, the oil that comes off of your fingers. It, it, it causes the cards to stick. Just take a little bit of ash... Like from this, for example. Um, rub it on the backs of your cards. Presto. Fixes it right up. It's not like some omen. It's like basic anatomy. But, you know. Whatever. Like. And I like cleansing with the cards in between readings. Because, like, they smell good, too. Like, that's the main reason why. Like, I, I just want my cards to, like, enjoy the scent. And since they don't have noses and stuff, I figure this is the closest. That was a bit of excessive time. That took like three freaking minutes. Let's not do that like that again, shall we? We shall not. Okay, Taurus. Let's see what the cards have for you. Like, because they already said you're, you're feeling like a page of wands. Like, it's interesting how it's, like, coming up with, like, different variations for different, um, whatever. It's, like, it's nice to see that, like, they're kind of communicating, like, when I ask how you feel. Like, that's kind of cool. Okay. Yeah. Oh. Okay. Uh. I don't think those mean anything. But now I gotta reshuffle. What are you doing? Like... Oh. It's 
a lot of mixed signals there, bro. A lot of mixed signals. Like, they're already, like, just being like, hey, hurry up. And I'm trying. Okay. Taurus, uh, seven of pentacles, nine of pentacles reversed, death reversed, <laughs> ace of swords, six of wands reversed, <clears throat> ten of swords, the theme is the hierophant, law and order, ref Freaking respect that. Put some freaking respect on it. That's the theme. The beginning theme of this whole endeavor. Okay, so. God, that's such a different variation from what I like. I like if I was just reading the cards for whatever reason, um I doubt any of these would even come up together. So that's kinda different. I needed to keep a terror log anyway, so this will work out just fine. Um, okay, seven pentacles, right? Usually a card symbolizing, look at your work, what you've done, harvest, um, kind of giving time for things to flourish or whatever, and, and, that, and that's definitely a Taurus thing, because you guys have, like, patience for whatever, like, you like taking your time. Um, the Knight of Pentacles, um... Maybe there's an offering of something materialistic or something of value of sorts, but maybe it's a catch twenty two. Like I, I don't I don't I don't think you should take the pentacle from the night. It feels like a kid's with getting taking strangers from candy kind of situation. Not the cool show, but like that's what it kind of feels like to me. Just a little bit. Um in your fear position is death reversed, which is like, number one, death is the card of Scorpios, because all Scorpios lead to death. Sorry, but it's the truth. <laughs> um, Scorpio, like, I get along with Scorpios, but they just don't make any sense. Um, no offense, but y'all, y'all just, it seems like sometimes Scorpios just go and sabotage other people's happiness at that time, because they don't want them to ruin their own happiness. Like, I'm gonna get you before you get me. But enough about Taurus. But that, but like, or not Taurus, Scorpio, my bad. But yeah, like, the, uh, death card reversed, right? That, like, it, it also symbolizes that there's supposed to be a transformation or a change happening, which you all don't like change. Tauruses, no, y you can't make them change for nothing. They are so freaking stubborn. But like, I, I like you're afraid of not changing, or is something not being changed, or something not dying so it could be reborn again. Like there, there's something like, like you're like you're afraid of a restart. If that makes sense, I don't know. Like that's such a weird thing to like. Mm. Like, you're not afraid of something, like, dying off. You're afraid of it dying off and maybe coming back to replace it. I don't know. I had to turn my AC on and now the light on it doesn't work. So, I have no idea. Oh, my goodness. Yeah. Good times. Alright, back to y'all. Alright. What's going on around you or with you is the Ace of Swords, new mental thinking, new facilitation of your um brain, right? You, you're going to get a new method of thinking at some point. Someone's going to get a new method of thinking. If it's not you, it's someone around you, someone you know. Um, what's going on against you is, um, or what's not going in your favor is uh the seven... Uh, well, uh, yeah, Seven of Wands, where, um, 
You think you got maybe the betterment of a fight? But you really don't, and then the outcome is the Ten of Swords. Because that's what you get for going in a fight you had no business being in in the first place, I feel like. You know, like, I, I, like, Tauruses never seem like fighters to me, but, I, but I'm probably wrong, because they're jerks anyway. <laughs> um, but yeah, uh, y you're kind of mentally drained and punctured and all sorts of unhappy favorite words, right? So, in the Hierophant is about rules, laws, and all that, so it's just kind of like, like the religious hierarchy, in a sense, how it operates, you know, like somebody answers to someone higher than them. Which, I, uh, isn't that Taurus's card anyway? Or is that like, no, 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 wait, yeah. Yeah, that's Taurus anyway, I think. Because the Emperor is... Air yeah, that's Taurus. So, you you feel, like, right at home right now. God! Uh, that's why I never dated Taurus. Is like, Jesus, fuck. I think you're a freaking priest. Your rules and shit. Like, everything has to be in a fucking order. Like, nothing against y'all, you just... Like, yeah, and, you know, I'm a cat recorder a dick, you know. But, it's, <laughs> Taurus is just, like, some of y'all are removable. Like, the females are cool. The men are, are just, I, I like, I don't know. I've never met very many, like, Taurus men, as many as I have women. But, like, you know, y'all men are just, like, stubborn to change at that. Like, y you want things to stay the same so much. But you're, that, that is totally your card. So you're right at home in this situation, like, you're working on stuff and watching it grow, but I like what's going on with you is like there's some sort of like offering, and you're afraid of something changing. Obviously, for I'm thinking it's like results more than um the actual death. That's what I think. I think you know something if something progresses and it happens. That you're, um, gonna have to face the consequences of that. And, and you don't want something to die off, right? And what's going on with you right now is, like, there's a new mentality and you're changing things. But what's going against you is you, like, you, you, you're putting in some energy that's wasting your time because you're not gonna be able to keep up with it. And it's gonna pretty much mentally drain you. Or it'll cause you some sort of, like, anguish, mentally. Like, you're gonna be sitting there thinking about it. And it's gonna bug you. Alright. Da-da-da-da-da-da-da-da-da-da-da-da-da-da-da-da-da-da-da-da-da-da-da-da-da-da-da-da-da-da-da-da-da-da-da-da-da-da-da-da-da-da-da-da-da-da-da-da-da-da
significant to whoever is in play in this scenario. Like, okay, so either it, like it could be either, any of these cases, so don't take offense, right? But either you think someone is stupid enough that they won't know that you're keeping secrets from them, someone else thinks that you're stupid enough to believe they're not keeping secrets from you, or someone you know is going through this scenario. I don't know, but like the hierophant and it's below it is the high priestess reverse. It's almost like a reflection, especially with the pillars, you know. Like, here, one's worshipping them, and the other one's, like, below it, like, by themselves with, like, this little thing. I don't know, but it, it, it like, with the pillars right here, it's almost like this mirror image. It's kind of like, who's hiding secrets from who here? Um, so, here, you, you put in a lot of work, you watch something grow, and here's, like, this nine of pentacles person, maybe female, who's gloriously got a bird in her hand with an apple on its head. And she's got a, a, a garden of, um, pentacles, almost like right here, like, you harvested them, and she, um, benefited from it almost, like a, almost symbiotic relationship, right? So those are kind of good cards to have together, one nurtures, and the other one, like, creates the beauty within it. Um, Knight of Pentacles, the dude who I don't think you should take candy from, clarified by the Ace of Wands, you know, like, Taking some action and getting a fresh start. Um, trying out something different, almost. Like, going on an adventure. Like, maybe this pinnacle is offering you to go somewhere different, new. I don't know. Um, the death card is clarified by the two of wands, you know, where two worlds... And sometimes you gotta choose one. And maybe that's what you're avoiding, almost. Um, you don't want to have to choose... Maybe you don't want to have to choose to, um... Okay, so you are the nurturer of the situation with somebody who makes your garden much more elegant looking, much more beautiful, everything you created. Then there's this pinnacle offering you like this vacation or this journey or this new start. And you fear starting over? And you have two worlds you're looking at at this point, right? And then there's, like, the Ace of Swords where, um, there's the Page of Wands. Where, you know, before when he was upright, he wasn't too bad, but now he's reversed. So he's got all those characteristics of the mystique, the nomadness, the wanting to travel and journey. But it's not for the right intentions, like, bad juju. Bad juju piles flew with that person. And then, like, what's... And that's what's going on around you and with you and whatnot. And then, like, what's going against you. Like, doing that fight you have no business in. And it's with the King of Pentacles. Who's a dick. He's usually, like... Or, or it, it could be another Taurus. But it's also Virgo and Capricorn. This could be somebody who looks down at you. And it has... It doesn't even regard you as a human being. And then we got the Queen of Wands with the final result with the all ten swords in the back. As if this person is, um, second time she's come up, actually. Where, um, <clears throat> she, she's positioned with the, um, mentality. Are, like, are, you, are you driving yourself nuts about this chick? Um, was well, there something going on here? Where, like, or, like, I, like, I feel like someone's keeping secrets from you, and you're fighting a battle you can't win. Like, it's, it's already over. You know? Like, I feel like the, the Knight of Pentacles and the Page of Wands are... Like, I feel like they're almost in cahoots with each other. Like, helping to allow the, the King of Pentacles in, almost. 
Like, I, I like, I think it's very weird that, like, you're sitting here, like, making this beautiful garden for this person, and the person's just kind of soaking it up. You know, like, you're in the garden tending it, and she's just reaping the rewards of it. Looking fabulous, but also kind of looking bored, too, right? And that's kind of interesting. Okay. Um... So yeah, there you go. Tell me what you think if you want to. It's up to you. Um, hits with any of y'all. Good luck.